All right, so it's been a minute, and I f did not hit the record button, but we're scanning a planet. Survey lander sets down. Confederate force approximately where the cross marks on the map indicated. Thick glare of shield rock prevents the scanners from penetrating more than a dozen meters below the surface. Team begins evacuation using a land drill. Depth about 70 meters, they uncover a small network of intricately carved chambers. Erosion by aquifer has eroded most of the details, but at one point that must have been spectacular. In a nature pool, the largest chamber, they uncover a collision of chromatic urns filled with coins. Credibly, credibly, the coins are made of nearly pure adamantium. Nice. All right, so what we, what I was explaining was that. I went here, explored these planets, planet, and that gave us a sixth crystal shard. I did some more research, and there's a gigantic thing here that we need to go to. There's a couple planets scattered in here that I have not been to yet. And if we take a look at our log, we can go back. So that's what we just did. Then we got Temple of the Fallen Gods. Successfully located the readout of the Fallen Gods. Planet Anomaly. You can read this if you want to. I've already read it once to myself. But we've accessed the computer logs, got the data banks. Um, let's see. We opened up some data banks. And that's key filter number six we got. Cyber signal of the microwave background. So that microwave background is that big sphere in the center. Uh, 0.81. All for now, thanks. Unbelievable. It's some com logs. A whole bunch of stuff. Unlimited knowledge. And blah, blah, blah. So on, so on. So now we're just back exploring. So let's explore and then I'm going to show you again why I don't like these lasers and why we're going to switch away from them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Took turning on eight later lasers to destroy that guy before I could just left click and he'd be done but the good thing is it locks on oh thank you for them resources I did not mean to uh, run into you and let's see what's here Okay, so Survey Lando touches down this world. It's lone spaceport. Its administrators seem unfazed by an unknown alien race arriving there. Missed after Philax's paperwork team is free to explore the city, which seems roughly on par technology the 22nd century Earth. Relatively advanced technology makes locating the not only tricky but eventually team triangulates it to a large glass building where there's signal translates to the Museum of Antiquity. Inside is a large connection of artifacts, pretty much all the most historic note than research value. However, in one well-secured display case, object of distinct interest. The almost unrecognizable remains of Starcom uniform attached to the waist, a small personal data archive on the collar, some kind of unrecognizable Communicator bearing the word Morningstar. All right, let's negotiate the purchase. Team locates museum curator who immediately recognizes their uniforms after some introductions. He can shed a little light on the uniform in the display. It was acquired as part of an artifact exchange with Zor Guild agent. While that curator appreciates the team interest, it's not for sale. Curator at first demurs, 
insisting that it's one of the highlights of the collection, and they still have much to learn from its advanced technology. But after he comes with his director, it seems that was a prelude to negotiations. Eventually, they outline a list of artifacts that they are eager to acquire. The requested objects are the following. Heartwood sample from Yogi Tree. Intact seeing crystal cluster. The scepter of Guru Hippogrant. If the team is able to deliver these, they'll surrender the Morning Star's artifact. In addition, they request a new Starcom uniform and communication device for their display. Okay. It's like a scavenger hunt. I haven't done one of these since Academy. This list is a bit more centric. The Flight Master's underpants. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff. But we know where some singing crystals are. We just gotta find that other stuff. So we gotta go revisit some, some things. Oh, stop moving. No anomalies detected. One more planet, and then we can move on. And try to decode some more of these messages. There we go. You survey that planet. On a rocky shore, a dozen meters beneath the sea surface lies an enormous starship. The seawater flooded interior compartments millennia ago, and any valuable technical equipment has such since turned into artificial reefs for exotic fish. A single interior area, possibly the bridge, seems to have survived longer. Perhaps its bulkheads only gave way recently. Besides some salvage materials, the engineer noticed that the navigational computer's holographic display matrix has an image burnt into its splitter crystal. She's able to reconstruct a fairly high quality two-dimensional projection. There's also a set of coordinates that appear to reference a fairly precise point on the planet's surface. If we can locate the planet in question. Hmm. All right then. Now we just gotta find that planet. But not today. Today we're still exploring. And missing wormholes. Got it. And we got him. Let's go ahead and scan this planet while we're here. And we got nothing. Oh, we are too slow. Too, too slow. Too, too slow. We're not too slow with these lasers, though. Yeah, we're getting rid of these lasers. Although it is kind of nice just to hold down the, uh, the space bar. Not really have to do nothing. Oh, where'd these guys come from? I don't know. They're gone. Got a sun. Another hermitite covered world, like the last. This one acts as a gravimeter, revealing hidden deposits of valuable neutroniums. We got ambushed. But it didn't even phase us. They better come with something bigger than that. Alright, next planet in question. Class L. Nothing. Alright, make sure we're done with this one. We are. And off we go. And no enemies. This is nice. I spoke too soon. We'll go ahead and uh, hit the sun up. Nothing on the sun. Oh, that's right. Give me all the goodies. And we're out of power. That sucks. Maybe I need some more. No, because we're switching weapons. No anomalies. This looks like the end of the line, so either one we do. 
he's going down or leaving. This planet apparently supported intelligent life, possibly as recently as a few centuries ago. Various cliff settlements attest to an early Bronze Age culture. The most interesting evidence is a cluster of stone spheres carved from various types of rocks, some not found over 100 kilometers. Of course, the shape probably made them more easily to transport, but even then, it would be no simple feat. The largest, over 10 meters in diameter. Petroglyphs in the nearby caves clearly reference the stones according to the Universal Translator. At one point, there were names and stories for each stone, but now only one of the small dark gray stones is legible. It's called the Enslaver. According to the story, it wages war against Cathos, who it sends to a dark labyrinth. Those who survive come out as hideous monsters for the Enslaver's army. Apart from the primitive myth, some of these stones have trace amounts of neutronium, probably responsible for their unusual hardness. Let's go ahead and pulverize them. There's no stories left on them. Neutronium density is only a few parts per million, but over the stones added up, plus 10 neutronium. What do we got here? We got one more. Alright, even before splashdown. The source of the anomaly, anomaly reading is obvious. The glow of Chikara radiation bathes the sh shallow waters of the sea in ominous violet light. From the surface, scans indicate that the reactor of a submerged vessel is leaking Xenia 36, dangerous byproduct of some reactor systems. The fourth section of the ship is broken off and lies several hundred meters away. Oh, let's explore. The fore section. The bridge is mostly intact. It seems to be some type of private merchant vehicle crewed by a mix of races. Judging from various skeletal remains, the team is able to interface with the ship's computer. Several of the captain's log entries seem of interest. Ooh. Alright. We've taken assignment to deliver some cargo to the Vendari. Sit up tight, and the agent was about what it is no doubt something dangerous given the fee we're offered advice to avoid the main nexus routes which is going to add a lot of time I met Ugolo trader coming out of picked up some additional fuel sentinel coming up on for us for routine scans sentinels open fire immediately after scan main reactor and port engine heavily damaged since when do the sentinels care about smuggling going to have to do a controlled crash on and try to shut down the reactor all right let's get that reactor and see what they had as a team approaches clear the radiation plume is devastating the local ecosystem at 200 meters the bet and omnicore readings are too high to get any closest the team collects sample of the radiated water for a few further analysis okay I'll check the team sample the reactor leak with the right stable isotope we should be able to neutralize XCM maybe Dr. Philman's team could help maybe so I don't think there's anything else we can do here for right now uh, still wrecking havoc while life because her approaches aft section is impossible let's get out of here many research points we got 3,000 we are doing good oh and just to let y'all know I went and explored this planet and this planet no anomalies found all that driving for nothing all right so let's go down down and then up right after we collect some resources thank you for your donation thank you for your donation let's recharge a little bit thank you And the last.
last one. Bam. Down we go. And then we need to go up. So the closer I get, the more powerful these lasers are. So let's get close. Let's get right up on the grill. There we are. Sentinel. There we go. Get on close to him. They're actually doing some damage to me. Must be this big ship right here. Uh, Verindy Battle Cruiser. Shoot. It's gone now. Uh, what was I doing? It's visiting the sun. Hoping for another battle cruiser. I hear music, but I don't see nobody. We should have scanned that planet while we was over there. It's all good. We're going back. And there's the hostiles. Sentinel. There we go. Discovery unstable mantle. Surface of this planet solidified in the past half million years or so. Given this unusual glimpse into early continental formation. Well, that's good. Oh, and we got more people. I'll take them. Bam. All right, to the next section we go. Oh, this thing is bright. Couldn't even see if I had any hole, because it was so bright. All right, send somebody down. Anomaly is a cluster of Bronze Age ruins that unusually show damage from plasma weapons. The team is unable to find the cause or any resource of value. While investigating the site, they are approached by a group of 14 and ungulated bipods. Be the Universal Translator team's excellent Xenoculture expert opens a line of contact. Ask them what they want. They claim to be the treaty representatives. They seem expectant and anxious. Let's have them ask politely what the hell they're talking about. 
After nearly an hour of back and forth communication and mistranslations, an incomplete narrative emerges. A group of star beings came and began collecting these bilinguals against their will. They resisted until their soul city was destroyed from the heavens. A treaty was established, the teams being that whenever the star beings return, they must be given a number of their species as volunteers. Star beings have not visited for some time, so they assume the survey team was them. What do these star beings look like? What do these star beings want with the volunteers? Tell them civilized races do not condone slave trade. If you find the star beings, you'll put a stop to it. The description is a bit vague. Either they are faceless versions of the survey team, or a bilingual think all star beings look alike. Alright, what do the star beings want with these volunteers? They don't seem to know. It's been several generations since the War of Subjection. According to legend, they are taken to the Great Sun to become immortal servants the beings and to assist the pursuit of knowledge. The fact that no volunteer has ever returned has led to skepticism. Star beings have a reputation for playing cruel tricks on the bilinguals. Alright, let's tell them civilized races do not condone slave trade. If you find the star beings, you'll put a stop to it. The response is confused mix of appreciation and fear. Yep, they should fear me. Scan this next planet. Another world that succumbed to rapid desertification several millennia ago. Similarity of the effect suggests that there was either the product of a weapon or large scale celestial phenomenon. Under Nate Titanium. Alright, son, hopefully it doesn't kill us. No. Alright, so let's head on back to base. And then. Looks like we're done with this little junction neck here. We'll have to come back once we get an antidote for that radiation. And then maybe get one of the uh, the items for the curator. So then we're just going to keep annihilating these sentinel fleets, taking the resources. I think we're about wrapping this game up. Even though we still got a lot of quests to do. Like this guy right here. Make sure we stay nice and close. There we are. That was quick and easy. Oh, we missed it. And down we go. All right, back to the Starcom station. And done. No resources though. Let's hope we don't overshoot it again. Good. No enemy forces here. It's good because they would be eradicated. All right, Commander. We could use more crew. Morale, holding together. Not sure if you knew this, but we were recently pulled through a space. There's an undersea reactor looking, leaking Exim 36. We need some way to neutralize it. Yes, the Commodore sent me your survey logs. It's been 33. It's pretty nasty. Fortunately, it has 
quantum paired isotope that can completely neutralize it. Great, can we synthesize it? Yes, I can, but it decays very rapidly. From the time I transfer it to your ship, you only have five hours on the ship's universal clock to get it to the reactor site. I'll have my lattice since transfer to hold the last minute before you debark. Okay, I'll rig the ship for speed. Okay, so we need to rig it for speed. Um, check the pottery. No, I haven't checked the pottery. So my speed ship. Let's go ahead and save this. Save current tanky. So that's my current ship. This is my speed ship right here. Which it has nothing. And we will. Actually, that's not my speed ship at all. Where is it? That's my speed ship right there. So we'll leave the station next time and then we'll head on our way. Till then, y'all take care.